Hello everyone, and welcome, I'm Abigail, and welcome to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Live Mode Overview and Review. I really hope I said that right. So, today we're going to be going over a few things that you can do in um, Live Mode, or Live Mode. And so first we are going to rally the um, kids into the kitchen. And if all goes well, I should be able to make three messes in the, um, uh, don't, don't play in that, um, kitchen. And hopefully the Roomba will, um, clean them up. Can I put these cat ones away? Put an inventory put away. Okay, so Gracie's an active dog, so she likes to run around and do things. I did rem um, remember that I forgot to show a um, another everyday outfit that um, women have. It's pretty much a quilt dress that is really, really cute and really pretty. Um, so I might get around to showing it later. If not, my um, sister Esther will be doing um, her character for her series will have... Um, that dress. Oh, Gracie! You okay, sweetie? She's wagging her tail. She must be fine. Pet obsession. Like almost all pets, Gracie can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their unique interests. So, yours is swimming. Um... So you cannot control pets. I th um, thought that I would get that out, um, say that right away. So you cannot control them, but there is a mod that um, allows you to control them. Um, since it just came out, I'm not sure exactly how good it is. So once the kids are done. Oh, the raccoon got on the counter! He jumped off. Raccoon, where'd you go? You're just chilling. You're a good little raccoon. I think you're cute. Okay, um, stop checking your kid. It's probably fine. <laughs> but no, stop trying to clean. We got a Roomba for that. Robo vacuum bleeder. Okay, start cleaning routine. So the Roomba will hopefully. It, 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 it's, it's gonna get there. Um, I guess I should send someone to go talk to you. Like, lovingly, let's go talk to this person. Um, invite in, uh, for my introduction. Pet fears. Um, watch the pet to see what spooks them. Do you not like new people? What are your traits, raccoon? Oh, you're territorial. Okay, yeah, you... You probably hissed at that person. So, where did the Roomba go? Well, it hasn't cleaned up the messes yet. I really wanted to show that off. Little robo vacuum, where'd you go? Where are the odds that it's stuck somewhere? Can't figure it oh it went off the deck. 
What are you trying to do? Are you trying to flirt with that person? Don't do that. Um, okay, so the Roomba is going into the kitchen, quite possibly. So it scans looking for, um, uh, dirt, and it should be going into the room that needs to be cleaned. I don't know where our little, um, Roomba went. Why don't you let your toddler out? Oh, there it is. Found it. It should be going to the kitchen now and clean that up. Okay, yes, here we go. Are you going to do your job now, little Roomba? Yay! Okay, so it makes little bubbles and goes back and forth like that. And the raccoon or the cats can jump up and ride on it. I just don't know where our little raccoon is. He's over here. Okay, so we'll start with the actual interaction of the... Um, do you not like the toilet? Or do you, are you playing with the toilet? Okay, aren't you silly? Um, okay. So since the raccoon can get up on the counters, I put his food bowl here. So fill all of them. That way he can just jump up and eat it up on the counter, away from the dog. I put the dog's food bowl over here. Uh, there are no water dishes inside the game, so you will not have to worry about keeping your pets well watered. Um, Gracie is running all over the place. Gracie! A really cool interaction that you can do with um, dogs of any kind of trait is going on a walk and since um, Gracie is energetic we can go um, she is actually really happy when we go on such walks so we will go ahead and take her for a walk Gracie you want to go on a WALK? Gracie do you want to go on a WALK? Did I give you a collar? I think I did I'm pretty sure I gave Gracie a collar. Yes, I did. So you cannot pick the color of your um uh, leash, which I think is fine because well, that's a lot of leash. As a, there's a lot of different leash color varieties. Excuse me. In real life, so it kind of makes sense that um. They would try to just keep it to a basic color. So you take your dog for a walk, you get the moodlet good walk. And it says a brisk walk is very satisfying for you and your dog. So while you guys are out for your walk or going to cheat your needs so that you don't um, have any accidents, we will go and play with the raccoon. So, oh, um... So the raccoon has the mischievous trait, so that means that he will scratch up furniture. So we're going to lecture him about scratching. We might as well lecture him about attacking people as well. Be a good kitty. Raccoon. 
Okay, so that question mark means that he doesn't understand why he's being lectured. And he doesn't understand why he's being lectured on that regard either. So we can play with a laser pointer. Let's play with a laser pointer. Can we play with the raccoon? Okay, so depending on your sim's emotional state, depending on the color of the laser. So since we are happy, our laser will be green. Flirty sims will have pink lasers and so forth and so on. And after we get done playing with the laser, we will get a happy um, moodlet. And it's just really cute. I don't know, I just think it's adorable. I'm gonna go and cheat the needs of the kids real quick. Great, looks like Gracie's still having fun on her walk. Um, the raccoon is uncomfortable. So if the raccoon is uncomfortable, yeah, so he has um, laser silliness. Man, cats are so dis distractible. Just shine a light on the floor. Hey, is that a text message? <laughs> okay then, so let's find out what's wrong with our raccoon. What's wrong with Roku? Oh, he needs to go potty. Okay, then. so we will go to pet care. I know, how, how do you get the cat to go potty? Um, he would like a nice clean litter box. There's one inside the bathroom over there. Um, let me see here. Friendly. I don't want to brush him. I want to go tell him to um, use the litter box. Hmm. Huh. Well, is it not at a good spot? Hang on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you can go and use it now. Would you like to go use the litter box? Hmm. Well, since it's a little bit more accessible, he should just go, I think. Yep. Bad toddler, bad toddler. No, they put it really far. Um, let's see here. So another trait that Roku has um is free spirit. So that means um at night there's a chance that he will um not exactly run away, but will run away and um, do raccoon things. I don't understand why you're not using the litter box. It's not, is that not a good litter box? Is it not clean? We just moved in. It should be. Yeah, it's, it's a good litter box. You can even like move it around and whatnot. Um, we're not going to lecture him about jumping on a counter since his um, food bowl is on a counter. So we can pamper him on the shelf. He's doing better now. Where did you go? Oh, you found a litter box. Good raccoon. And this um, litter box cleans itself up. You want to be pampered on the couch? So we're going to pamper you on the couch. So the raccoon will come and jump up on the couch. And we will 
shimmy on over and sit down, and then we will just interact with him. I guess he didn't want to be pampered with. Can I pamper you? It would be an adorable picture. Oh, you're you're, you're gonna sleep. Okay. Uh, I'd like to show off some more things we could do with Gracie if I can't while she's at the um, Derek while she's at the, while she's being walked. Okay, let's go back home. Oh, look at that tail. So cute. Since we are doing other live mode things, I think it is dark enough, so we should travel somewhere. And let's take Mila. My, yeah, Mila. Now let's stop playing with the dollhouse. What's wrong with you? Oh, um, these little whistle things at the bottom allow you to call for your pet. I just realized that I did that with Gracie and didn't explain. So she's running over to see, um, him. Forgot what your name is. Ernest. Yeah, voila, she is here. And we can also rough house with her and then go on an adventure together. Interested in exploring? Travel with your dog and see what you find. From adventurous dog. Yes, she's right there. Maybe you can see what's wrong with the raccoon. No, you do not want to. Okay. Um, I'm sure he's fine. Actually, I can... I'm pretty sure I can cheat your needs, can I? Be happy. Yep, I can cheat his needs. Okay, so we're going to try to travel with... Ooh, Gracie's hungry. The bull is full, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. We're finally going to travel to a new location. So this is what the um, map looks like. So over here, we have Stable Square. Over here, we have Whiskerman's Wharf. And this is a Calavir Cove. And this is the Dread Grass Isle. Uh, Katarina lives here for four cats. Uh, Brendan Brandt Hecking live here with their dog Rosie. And the Delegatos live here with their two cats. But we're going to be going here, mainly for one reason, which is the lighthouse. And the other reason is that there is a um, townie that is on this island that we might be able to find. I don't know what his spawn chance is. But, um, because uh, he's some kind of captain. I forgot what his name actually is, but 
Anyways, he's um a I think he's a ghost dog. I'm not sure. But also at night this island's completely covered with um ghost dogs and during the day it's covered with a bunch of strays. Okay, and Alec was sent to um daycare. So also there's a charming little museum here, which is just very cute with different model ships and the history of the Bay Area. Restrooms, art, awesome. So anyways, we'll just go back to the lower level. And here's the lighthouse. So we can woohoo with our husband here. Guess we could technically try for baby. I mean, we, we do have room for another person. I really don't want to, though. Maybe some other time. Let's Google it. <laughs> I almost sound like she said, let's Google it. This is really cool to be quite honest. Oh, hey, Liam, get a happy moodlet. View from the light. The breathtaking views from the Brindleton light has lifted my list of spirits. Oh, that's just from being at the lighthouse. Um, let's see if we can't find any ghost dogs. Right, here's the pet cemetery. So, it. Oh, wait, I saw one. I think I saw one. Saw a red streak darting for this tombstone. Could have just been my imagination, though. So, anyways, this is where all the um, ghost dogs of the island spawn. So, this was just really cool and kind of a creepy. um location um yeah i think we came a little early to see um any ghosts so that's entirely my bad so i guess we'll go back home and see what else we can do with our you with our uh, um, new furry companions. Oh, it's Rosie. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to steal your dog. Oh, um, oh, there's our dog. Oh, poor Rosie. Bad pet owners. I'm going to call Brent and Brant and tell them that they're terrible pet owners. If I knew who they were. Instead, it's, this family has no idea. Okay, so anyways, we will, um... Oh, cute Gracie. Um, uh, let's see here. Another really cool thing that we can do is let me get a quick meal like some chips or something chips is this is one of my favorite interactions but it's so simple yay hug now let mom go get her chips no no Tell them not to do that, although that's kind of a raccoon's main thing. Okay, do we have our bag of chips? Yes, we do. Okay, then. so we have our bag of chips in hand. 
we can uh, pick on Gracie. We can give Gracie some food. We can also do the same interaction with um, the raccoon. Oh, Gracie, you're just all over the place. Gracie, no, don't go swimming. No, I'm going to give you a chip. Good girl. We can also play fetch with her by throwing the ball into the water, and there's just a lot that we can do. <laughs> she shook water out of you. You kind of deserve it. Um, there's a lot that we can do with different pet traits and pet um pet trait variations, and there's just a lot that we can do with. <laughs> the pets and we can also tell the raccoon to um, not lick a uh, um, drink from water puddles but um yeah but yeah and there's just a lot of things that we can do and I don't think I can really cover them all in this video because again each pet has three very unique traits and whatnot but I think I will guarantee this. This will not be the last time you will see Roku and Gracie. And it does not mean that this um, series is quite yet over. Because after all, we still haven't done the one of the things that was a main selling point for a couple of people. I have not gone over the vet clinic. So inside the next episode of The Sims 4 Overview and Review, with high emphasis on overview, we are going to be going over the, um, do I not have enough money? No, I do not. Okay. We are going to be going over the, um, Uh, vet career and what I have seen other youtubers have a problem with and how you can fix it and not be affected by it inside your own game so until then and that video should come up tomorrow so yeah so until then I am Abigail and stay in touch bye